Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Park Primary School where we see the host Hudson Park take on Dale College from uh, King Williamstown. As we can see here on the field, uh, Dale boys just lining up in their black tracksuits with their, their red rain, rain jackets. Traditional colours of Dale, the black and red and Hudson Park in the traditional white and red stripes. This is quite a traditional, uh, fierce rival uh, between the two schools, Dale and Hudson, going steeping back in a long history. The under-13 game, obviously the, the main game for the day. Often this derby happening on a Saturday. Today we see it here on a Wednesday. Creates a different challenge for the Dale boys having to travel after school. Uh, will they be ready for this game? Previously this year, Dale have faced Hudson at the under Force Challenge and they were the, vic the victors in that game. So Hudson Park will be looking to claw one back here. As we can see the home tunnel here, yeah, a new tradition started at Hudson Park, running from straight from the locker rooms to uh, to the field between the poles. And uh, you can see as many Hudson primary supporters there as possible here yeah, to support their, their first team. And uh, hopefully a, a victorious game for, for the red and white stripes of Hudson Park today. Today's match official, Jason Longbottom. Jason Longbottom, a very experienced ref at all age groups, uh, but in particular the under 13 age groups, so you can expect a, a well refed and well officiated game today. A tough game for him to do on a Wednesday uh, between the two big rivals here of Dale and Hudson Park. It'll be an interesting affair to see who takes this big first clash. Looks like Dale are starting with their ball, traditional. Uh, Black jerseys with red stripes and Hudson playing from right to left. Slight downhill for those of you that don't know how the field run. Hudson definitely in favour of the downhill. And Dale College, or Dale Primary rather, will look to use that in favour of them in the second half. Dale looks to start here and they kick it quite deep. It's not collected by Hudson Park and uh, Dale just regathering re that ball rather. Unfortunately just taking it into collision there and knocking the ball on according to the, the ref there. So Hudson with the opportunity to exit yet will be interesting to see if they run it or if they'll look to put it to boot. 
Young Daniel Tarr, the number 12 for today, uh, has an excellent boot. He's able to kick off both, both feet. So he'll be looking to use that. Uh, today there is a slight breeze outside. Probably in favor of Hudson. Blown from behind Hudson Park's back. Um, down towards the road. You see there the young Dan Tarr with the scrum cap. Lining up in the 10th position ready to receive this pass. It's a strong scrum from both schools. You see an eighth man pick up. It's a fantastic run with great acceleration off the back of the scrum. Just driving the the ball more forward there for Hudson. They look to set up another pod. But static at the moment. They need to run onto that ball to gain forward momentum. Slow ball from the scrum off to Kushle. Kushle with the offload. Dale quick into those ruck situations. Unfortunately, just falling off their feet there at that ruck. There. He was the first man. He was able to steal that ball. You see, it looks like Sean Manjira. The loose head prop there, taking a quick tap and go. You see the scrum off working well here. Asabella Makayla. Good communication here by Hudson Park. Just keeping the ball. Keeping possession, not looking to put it to foot yet. I see it goes wide to Kutle again. Kutle seems to be a big playmaker and offloads the ball. But it's a massive tackle there by Dale. Unfortunately, an infringement happened earlier at the ruck situation. So, referee Jason Longbottom just explaining there to the eighth man that he can't put his hands over the ruck. And if he's going to go for the steal, he needs to go onto the ball straight away. If you bridge over, create a bridge with your body then uh, you will be penalized so Dan Tarr's first opportunity to put the ball to foot here it's a very relaxed kick by Dan Tarr and he finds touch easily got plenty of distance on that kick and there's a lot more in there as you can see very relaxed in his kicking style simple nothing too complicated and uh, marches Hudson Park up the field first line out of the afternoon for both teams yeah they'll just look to get their set piece dominance hudson park will look to win their own ball the ref long bottom just talking to both teams saying to keep the distance here first down it's vital not happy with the throw there skew throw from hudson as i mentioned earlier there is a slight breeze from right to left as you look on your screens so they'll be look to utilize that front jumper, which is known as a two ball. Size wise, Hudson Park seems to have a much bigger pack than, than Dale. They'll look to utilize that in the scrums. It's a great scrum there by Hudson Park, but Dale fortunate enough to keep their hands on, on the ball. It's an eighth man pick up just to to secure the ball at the back of the scrum and then we see another pick and go from the lock. That was Sizani number five. Two or three pick and goes there. Liema Skit trying to go the hooker from Dale but well driven back by Hudson Park. Dale very static here so they look to go to boot but it's well charged down by Hudson Park who've regained possession on the 10 meter. Taylor to Kushle. Kushle goes wide. It's another solid hit there on Dan. Dan Tarr, but he's placed the ball back nicely for his scrum off. Taylor with the ball. Looks to Manjira. Manjira steps. Beats one defender. Taylor again. The young scrum off very involved in this game as Hudson Park looks to go out wide. They run it up in the centers. They still haven't got their ball to their speedsters out wide there. Dan. Dan Tarn Lichlik Rikwa. You see a good offload in the tackle. Looks like Sean Mandira with the ball. And unfortunately, the, the number 13 there from Hudson Park Lee. Apologies for that. The number 13 is not Lichlik Rikwa. Looks like the boys have switched jerseys and positions for this game. A 
great counteract there by Dale, just driving right over that ball. Regaining possession, they'll look to attack from this as we see another pick and go from their number five, Cezani. Junaid Mart on the ball there, the scrum off. Generally in the ball quite well there is Mart. He's on it again, he goes blindside. Dale with a little bit of space to work with here. Offloads there to 15. That's Dai. Dale just falling into the trap of running as individuals here when they could just run as a pack. Need to get into their pods earlier. Another individual run. Well held up there by Sean Mangera and what looks to be Nathan Randall. The ref just calling uh, Dale back with the advantage there for that high tackle. Position just outside the 22 as you see a tick, quick tap and go there by, by the young scrum off. He offloads it to the tight head. Kawe. Uh, unfortunately, then Kawe just dropping the ball in, in contact there. Needs to hold on to that ball with two hands when, when taken on contact. And uh, Hudson Park will count themselves lucky there. And they'll look to escape here with a great exit. on the ball he gives it to Dantar Dantar steps out of trouble they old flood the flood the ruck slightly but uh, Hudson still have possession they look to put it to boot but it's a shank of a kick and it just rolls out into touch there almost a grubber like kick from what looks to be the fly half if you in Konyeni he won't be happy with that and he'll look to uh, rectify that as soon as he can Hudson still in a precarious position here in their own 22 Dale with an attacking option Dale go to the back, but unfortunately, again, another skew throw. Both hookers are uh, committing that error early in this game, and they'll want to rectify that at their next opportunity. Hudson Park, once again, can count themselves extremely fortunate here to get out of trouble. Great scrum by Hudson. They look to wheel it to the right hand side to have that that blind side. It looks like Omsle Dwane with the pick and go. You see Dantar hits the gap here. He looks to step off his left. Slight tackle there made by the Dalians just to stop him as we see Sean Mangero with a great run. That's the loose head prop from Hudson Park there, running a good 20, 30 meters there with that pick and go. Hudson with a penalty advantage, yeah. Michaela on the ball. It's a skip pass there to Danta. He throws a dummy, but the Dalians don't bite. He's wrapped up there, but Hudson will come back to the halfway line where they'll have that advantage. They might want to slow this down. Change of plans there. And just a quick tap and go by the hooker. Good friend. He's looking to go. Yeah, man has always been fasty. There you can just see after his good run, still clapping the team on, encouraging them to say, we can do this, we can go from here. Great steal there by Hudson Park in the front. Looks like Nathan Randall stole that ball there and everyone's in. As we see Singer's back on you at the back. You see Singer with a great run. Good communication there by the scrum off. Another pick and go by Hudson Park. Edging slightly closer to this try line. But Taylor just indicating that he wants the forwards on the ball as we see Singer again on the ball. He's a hard runner. Sean Mangieri there just doing some good racking work. Apologies, that wasn't Singer with the ball. Singer has it now. Uh, 
You see Kutle with the big tap and go. Slightly high body position there as we can see he's almost sitting there the way they've tackled him but he places it nicely back for Hudson. They've, they've got some space here. The Dalians will need to watch that offside line. They need to make sure they're on the try line there as we go wide. Did try and place it. Oh, it's kicked away by Hudson Park. Boy. It's unfortunate. It looks like a try has been scored there by Hudson Park. And it looks like that loose forward there, Sean Manjira, the young man, as you can see, is elated. Hudson Park lead this game five points to zero. see the highlights here it's a pick and go by Sean Manjira and the young man is elated with his efforts there Dan Tars T not working there for him so he looks to snap a little drop goal quickly and unfortunately miss hits it he is capable of hitting that drop goal as we see on screen there Sean Mandira really just showing how fierce he's become as an under 13 rugby player it's a great pick up there by Hudson Park Off the kickoff, a solid run all the way up to what looks to be the halfway line. It's the 22. Hudson with a great op attacking opportunity. Yeah, single on the ball. Looks like that was, run was by Onkle Duane, the eighth man. As you see, they try to play Kushle there in the middle. That's Kushle Klikwa. Unfortunately, the big man just, uh, his hands letting him down there. So it's a good scrum by Hudson, but a quick pick up there by Dale. As he looks around straight over here, the back line of Hudson Park. It's a deep pass by Dale. It's another good run, but strong defense by Hudson, not letting the boys see. It's a big hit there by, looks like Kenny Makalele. Dale put it to foot. Looks like the ball has gone directly out, so they'll come all the way back from where the kick was, just inside the halfway line, and uh, Hudson with the opportunity to attack from the halfway. Unfortunately, there for Singer, another skew throw. You'll really want to sort that out. Uh, I know his coach quite well, and he won't be happy with the, that the set pieces are letting them down at the moment, uh, where it's a foundation to bolt from. there by Dale's number 15 slicing through the centers of Hudson Park but well cross covered there by number seven of Hudson As Dale looked to go wide it's a great tackle there by Dan Tarr just to release that pressure that Hudson were under and they'll have the opportunity to exit from their own half we haven't seen them kick many times today so they might look to run it here from deep
once again. Singer just not getting that throw right. I think it's almost the angle that he's thrown in rather than his throw being skewed. He's lining up right in line or in front of his Hudson line. He needs to stand more in the center of that between the two line outs and uh, that throw will definitely go straight. It's a strong pick up here by Dale number eight. He runs over this, the fly half. It's well defended there by Dantar again. The ball is loose but Dale recover it. They have numbers out wide. It's well defended there by Hudson and they look to kick it through. But a knock on there just coming from the Hudson Park defenders. scrum in the, in the 22 year good attacking options they've set up deep so switch pass there to number 12 it's a great pick up there by the fly off he looks to go wide Dale with numbers out wide yeah that's in cross cross cover defense is fantastic and Dale with two pick and goes and they go right over that whitewash Good fight back there by Dale after the first couple of minutes. Hudson really dominated the collisions uh, and Dale just getting involved. Deciding to fight back and uh, you can see their coach there just giving them good team talk there. Some good words of encouragement as we see it. The highlights here is a pick and go from the back of the ruck and the boy held by two defenders and still has the time to stretch over the field. Over the try line, rather. And the scores are level after 19 minutes, five points apiece. Hudson with a short restart looking to contest for that ball but unfortunately Dale just lunging onto that ball in time Hudson looking to hold them up here for a more and fantastic there by Hudson Park to hold the boys up from Dale and uh, winning themselves a scrum Good pass out the back there by Hudson. Dantar in space. He evades two or three tackles, slips out of them, ducks underneath them. It's a slow ruck by Hudson. Dale can be fortunate for that. Dale way off sides there. Sean Manjira on the ball. He looks to run it straight. Just straightening that attacking line. Taylor on the ball to Kutle. Kutle goes wide. Another strong run there by Singer Hudson just marching forward into this 22 of Dale. It's 
and they're yeah, just deciding to go for poles just to slow it down give their big boys a little bit of a break Dantar definitely has the ability to slot this the position is just on the 22 kick there by Danta and that looks to have gone over so Hudson Park lead this game after 22 minutes 8 points to 5 Time here at Hudson Park Primary School, where the host Hudson Park lead Dale eight points to five.
Welcome back to the second half where Hudson Park have kicked off and uh, the balls bounce out, not retained there by anyone. So they will have the line out. First straight throw we've seen it was a tussle between the two schools there and uh, Dale just coming away with that and it's a strong run there by number seven Lunje Matwa. See another carry there by Lee Kawe. Dale looked to have started the second half with a lot of venom in them. Running hard into the collisions and they're looking to go out wide here early. exit here the dead ball lines at Hudson not very deep so the flowers are always under pressure apologies for that uh, a trial was awarded there by number 11 so that's Liflome from Dale a great start to the second half here by Dale And uh, Dale are leading this game 10 points to 8. to hold the boys up but Dale doing well to fight to ground there and creating a ruck situation and Dale looking to run this ball from inside their own half Dale flooding this ball five or six players running at the ball only one Hudson Park defender and unfortunately there for Dale just knocking that ball on went whilst trying to pick it up Hudson Park under a lot of pressure early in the second half. The first five minutes definitely dominated by the boys from King Williamstown. It's a strong pick up by the number eight. He's going very lateral at the moment. He will feel like he's made a lot of ground, but unfortunately, he went more lateral than forward. Dan Tall with the ball. Yeah, he'll look to put it downfield. Another relaxed kick by the young man, but it does carry to the 10 meter. Dale will have to attack from the half. Good step in here by 15. The gap is open for the young man. He's looking to go in the corner. He looks for the offload. Unfortunately, they had just knocked on there by his winger. Great run there by number 15, Itani Dai. Looks like Dale uh, and the 13 boys have decided that they're just going to change gears here and uh, they ended the first half off rather slowly but the first seven minutes of the second half they really dominated with ball and territory. Had some park under pressure here on the own five. Dan Todd just looking to step his way out of trouble there. Just carries the ball over the five meter. Had some park still under trouble. The fly half is set to release it. it. Looks to be a charge down. The ball has gone out there. 
So we had some parked line up just past the five meter, about six meters away from the try line. They need to exit from here, otherwise they're going to be under a lot of pressure from the Dale boys who are excited to be in this area of the field. A lot of positive energy. It's a good throw from Singer down the middle. But it's loose at the back and the Dalians are looking to get onto that as they do. They've got options both sides here, but the scrum is going to look to go to the open side. Hudson Park flaring out in defense. Dale looking to go wide. The ball is loose, but it's well picked up and recovered. Good tackle there by Sean Manjira driving the Dalians back. Dale with numbers out wide. If they can just release this ball, it's well held there by Nathan Randall, the Hudson Park lock. And Dalo there from Dale just trying to step his way out of trouble. Unfortunately, he couldn't. It's another strong run here by the eighth man, Kungao. <laughs> Looks like Hudson have come through that ruck and stolen the ball. Big pick up there by Kushik Rikwa. Hudson there defending their line really well the last two or three minutes as we see a tap and go here by Singer. Maybe not the best option, but he'll look to do the most with this ball as he runs. Carries the ball up to the halfway line. You see Deman there cleaning. The right wing really getting involved. Hasn't had much of the ball, so he's doing as much as he can when he can. Slow ball here yeah, for Hudson Park. Just allowing Dale to set the defensive line. They look to go to the blind side. It's to Singer. Singer fends off the first person. He's looking to run hard down the touchline, but it's well cross covered there by number three, Kawe. They are looking to wrap around this rack and attack the blind side. The Dale boys are quite stagnant on attack at the moment, so just being driven back from that vantage line by Hudson. Good, strong defense there, and another great tackle in the center channel. Hudson flooding their center channels there with their forwards and defense. It's a good pro there to have their, their big boys defending against the quick, the quick backs of Dale. A couple of hard hits and those Dalians won't want to run anymore. Another strong tackle there. It's a good pick up there by Hudson. Just on that pouncing on that loose ball is Singer. They are really flat in this rack, looking to get a counter rack, but Hudson secure the ball with another pick and go from the back. Just gaining small meters, but uh, important ones as Kushle gets the ball in the fly off channel. Passes off to Manjira. Back to Singer. Singer with the chicken pass out. Singer loops around to get the pass again. Asserting some of their dominance again in the second half. It's taken them some time to wake up, but they certainly have now. There's about eight minutes left in this half. As you see Singer again, bouncing with two or three boys there, but Dale not having it and tackling him right out into touch. That's a park did have the penalty advantage. Only two points behind. Big decisions to be made here. As you see a tap and go by Duane. He releases it wide to Tar, who steps out of trouble. Even the Dale defender on his knees. Some fantastic step in there by the young Daniel Tarr. Hudson Park just communicating here. They'll look to go to Kushle. Will he crash it up this time? He looks to take on one or two. It's the first time we've seen the young man run with the ball today. He's often been 
Off learning it and Medalia there. The number three first man over hands on that ball. A fantastic steal. And really relieving that pressure off the Dalians was the number three there, Lik Power. Fantastic from the young man. Dale not quite out of trouble here, still in their own half. If Hudson Park can steal this ball, they have a big opportunity to put some points on the board. It's important that the hooker gets his throw straight as he goes down the middle. Hudson Park coming away with the win there. Dale will look to hold him up in this wall, but he does go down to ground. Number seven working hard to counteract, but well defended by Hudson. Kushle on the ball. Can he roll over and place this ball or Dale on that? Dale's first man there once again. Number three, Lee Kawe there from Dale Primary. Doing some good things and the young man wants the ball and he runs hard into Hudson Parkway. And it's well tackled there by Sean Manjira. Rolling back in that tackle but does stop Lee Kawe from running anymore. It's a cross kick here by Dale with a good opportunity using the gas out wide. It's well covered there by Hudson but Dale get onto that ball first. As we see a pick and go from the 22. Hudson Park boys just struggling to get back there in defense. Can Hudson counteract this situation? Some great counteracting there by Hudson as they come right through the middle. All legal there. So they roll out of that tackle just to place the ball back. So again there to, to the young man Omkle Dwane. He's had a good game, has the number eight from Hudson, really a strong ball carrier, impact player. As we go to Kushle Krikwa. He releases it there to Dwane. Dwane steps. He's looking to back himself down the side. It's a great cover tackle by 15 from Dale. They have kept the ball in field. There the linesman's flag goes up. It's a good run all the way down to the 22 as Dale look to take this quickly. But unfortunately the ref just calling them back with five minutes left. Hudson will really look to get into this game here. Get some points on the board. Get their hand on the ball. They'll need to steal this, uh, this line out here and, uh, and get points on the board as soon as possible. <laughs> Hudson Park with an attacking scrum just inside the 22. About four minutes left in this game. A great opportunity for them. see a strong scrum by both schools scrumming steady it's a good strong pickup by the number eight he looks to accelerate at the number 10 but he's well held there the ball is there for the scrum after play as we see Kushle Dikwa he picks it up it's a lower body position by him so he does go forward it's fantastic by the young man he looks like Singer the hooker he looks to go again his body position slightly high the Dalians will have to roll off that tackle there as it looks like Sean Manjira but he's held up there by Dale Kutle is picking it up. It's another strong drive by the boy. The Dalians will just have to roll off that ball. They're collapsing right on it. As you can see, the inspirational coach there in D in the back just really cheering up his boys. He's always been the inspirational talker here at Hudson Park Primary School. And the boys are feeding off him now. As we see Kenny Makalele. Looks to go for the try line. 
They are really flooding this ruck, trying to get their numbers over here. Hudson will need to use their feet to hook it out as the ball comes out there. Sean Mandera looking to get through the traffic. It's getting very frantic here. Hudson Park maybe just needs to slow this ball down, look to go wide. It's stolen here by, by Dale off, off quickly. Kikwa on the try line. Dale look to exit here. It's a great kick by the young man from between the uprights. It all could have gone wrong there for Dale, but they did really well to get their hands on that ball and, and to kick it out. The Dale is looking to go for a quick throw here, but I'm sure it is Hudson Park ball. Maybe just a little bit of patience needed to be shown there by Hudson. There, were, there was space out wide. As you see another straight throw there, but uh, unfortunately right through the hands of Randall. Looks like Dale have secured that ball, but Hudson looking to counter Rucky right through the middle. Fantastic counter Rucky in there. Have bided their time to do those counter rucks as uh, Dale picked the ball to foot again. They kick it down downfield. Hudson Park under pressure. Great step to get out of trouble. He puts it to foot there, but unfortunately straight into a Dalian's chest and the ball bounces out. Hudson will have the ball, but in their own half. They're going to go a long way here, 60 meters to score with a minute and a half left on the clock. And Singo, who's been hitting his lineouts all in the second half, has finally missed one again and unfortunately at the wrong time for Hudson Park in the wrong area on the field and uh, Dale with an attacking opportunity just outside the 22. It's a strong pick and go here by number eight again. Kungawo. He's still going, he's still going. Hudson Park, three or four defenders falling off him. And right at the end there, Dale closing out this match, scoring another fantastic try. The big boy there, Kungawo Gudurka. As we see here, the number eight, Kungawo Gudurka. Goduka uh, means to go home and the young man knew where his home was there behind the try line and he put in the five points on the board for his team closing out this game here Fifteen points to eight here with a couple couple seconds left here. Hudson Park if they can somehow retain this ball. If they can retain this ball and get it back from the kickoff, they're in with the opportunity. The best they can do at the moment is draw this game as they trail fifteen points to eight. It's a low kick into the middle. Not ideal for Hudson as Dale look to attack. advantage Hudson Park player not rolling away it's Dale looking to attack up wide it's a great cover tackle there but it looks like Sean Mangiero this man has really been fighting his own battles up front there for Hudson Park and be, can be very proud of his performance in this game Hudson Park themselves not letting themselves down in this game are really fighting just uh, maybe at that try line situation, just needing the patience on the ball there. Rather, everyone just trying to pick and go to create a pot there. Pick and go from the back with some momentum behind them would have really allowed them to, to push over that try line. We see Dale go for the, the corner, but unable to find touch as we see Singer running. Very lateral again. He fends off one, does the chicken pass to Dan Tai. He looks to step, but loses his footing. over that ball again it's that number three Lee Kawe.
the penalty option there and they've called for a scrum. Just off screen, yeah, we have a young man injured, just a little concern on his knee. Some magic water and an ice pack. He looks to, he might be substituted here in the dying minutes. kick it into touch to end this game and uh, Dale primary traveling all the way from King Williamstown to be victorious in this game yeah, at Hudson Park winning this game 15 points to 8 